Any artist out there want to be an artist and want to stay a star and don't want to, don't want to have to worry about the executive producer trying to be all in the videos, all on the record, dancing, come to death row. We got the Marcus Bumpers. Me, I, I have a family of entertainers. So, you know, Michael and Lydia have been in the industry for years because they were the founders for Death Row Records. So mm -hmm. they they uh, were the founders and started the label and actually had put up the capital. So with, you know, their knowledge and their expertise, that's what actually ended up helping me really navigate the business. Perio and Lydia as your family? Yes. Can you more about that? Mm -hmm. So they are my family on my mother's side of the family. That is correct. Uh -huh. uh, Michael and Lydia, they used to be married at one point uh, in the in they earlier days. And while Harriel was away, Lydia was running Death Row Records as uh, the founder. And, you know, she was uh, like I think president for the operations at the time when he was yeah. going back back in the 1990s. Um, because she was originally singing. She was a singer on the roster, if you look back on the roster in the 90s. Yeah. And because she had to run the day-to-day -day operations, then she had to step away uh, from singing to run the day-to-day -day operations of the label. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are your thoughts now that Snoop is a part owner of the company? The East Coast don't love Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. The East Coast ain't got no love for Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg and Death Row. Y'all don't love us. Y'all don't love us. Well, let it be known then. <laughs> I think that is great. And Snoop, he's, you know, business savvy. And I think that he's going to do great things within Death Row Records. I have no doubt. And I'm I'm looking forward to more of the music that they're going to put out, uh, more of the artists that they will get into the label. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the, the route that they go. And I know that they recently just got Maze onto the roster. Yeah. I mm -hmm. also seen Harry O announce that Snoop and Dre are coming with the album this year, too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I I heard something about it, but I'm I'm out of the loop. My family don't really keep me in the loop with the yeah. business day to day because I, you know, I, I already myself I have a very hectic schedule um, with uh, filming, auditioning, and everything. I'm on the road constantly, uh, on the plane, traveling everywhere for yeah. all I have going right now and doing media and a lot of press right now so it's it's hectic but i get a little bit of a gist if it just casually come up in conversation but i'm really out of the loop um with some of the stuff that's going on in the music world right now i casually hear it in conversation yeah so what are your thoughts on billboard and vibe magazine top 50 rappers because they had death row artists 